Yo, what is up, my mullets and Sharp here, bring you guys a search and destroy gameplay on C Town. This is from a game battles match, uh, and I wanted to do an amateur breakdown video today, but for some reason it wouldn't let me connect to theater on my other account, so I couldn't really get anyone's video. Uh, so we're just gonna be doing a search and destroy breakdown, uh, and like I said, this is from a GV. Uh, I believe our record on game battles is like 29 and two or something. We lost. We actually lost to this team. Um, Reckless, they're actually a pretty known S&D team. Uh, we usually li like to just play Search and Destroy only, uh, just to practice that. We don't really need CTF practice, and plus, uh, we're not like a real MLG team, so, um, playing, playing Search and Destroy GB is a good way to practice. Uh, but like I said, 29-2, we lost this team, and then last night we lost to some team, I don't even know who they were. Uh, but we weren't really playing with any of our, we weren't really playing with the starters on our team. Uh, it was me, Fearless, and then like two, uh, it was like uh, Methods and Realize. But anyway, let's get into the gameplay here. Uh, I believe first round, I do, I think this is a 1v3. I killed the guy in Market, now it's a 1v2. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm running around because uh, I think Nex and Stoner are the last two alive. Uh, and one of my teams is actually telling me that Nex likes to um, have have them sit together. They like to have them sit by each other so if one guy dies uh, the other guy can just kill kill the person that killed him. Uh, so it's actually a good plan. Um, so I'm just kinda expecting them to both be together and I'm kinda flanking around the spawn here because uh, I'm, I'm playing on them knowing the bomb is down. Uh, and then luckily I see this guy right here and then I start to get shot at from the guy uh, and I don't want to challenge that gunfight so I run away. Uh, I don't really know where he is. I didn't know he was up top, down low, um, where. So I'm just going to run away and try to get over here to this bomb. Uh, and the best thing to do in that situation is to run away because I didn't know where he was. He knew where I was. Uh, and now I ran away and now we don't know where he, any of us are. And he tries to shoot me in the back here. Um, and I'm just going to plant A. Uh, go for a quick A plant because he, it, it's unexpected uh, for me to just get shot and then go straight for a plant. Uh, I kind of expected him to run over to plat, so I stunned over there because uh, he was mid-map and that's kind of the thing that people like to do is just uh, run over to plat and right now what I'm just doing is just waiting to hear the bomb sound waiting to hear him pick up the bomb uh, and there you go he jingles it so I'm gonna haul ass over to the bomb um, and I got kind of lucky he, he faked it and I just got kind of lucky that he wasn't looking right at that corner uh, as I came around sitting by if he was sitting behind bomb looking at the corner I was at, I probably would have died uh, so luckily for me he faked it and um, I was able to run and get him now if he didn't fake it uh, he would have died but if he didn't fake it and I didn't run for it uh, he would have defused it, obviously. Uh, so, depends on where you're sitting, um, how good of a spot it is. That wasn't really a good spot where I was sitting because I had to run to the bomb. Uh, I was pretty far away from it. Not not too far away, but far enough to, away where I had to go and check. Uh, there was no, alright, well, he's probably faking it. So, uh, on this side right here, I'm going to... I actually hit that guy with a nade. Uh, I don't know why I didn't die. Um, I guess... Something I don't like about search is like it's like the first ten seconds people don't die to grenades. Like you can stick someone, and they're not gonna die to a nade. And then I take some shots on this guy, and uh, I'm not gonna force anything, not gonna rush it. Uh, so I'm just gonna run away. But he actually just runs to uh, library and then comes around and kills me. Uh, so I probably should have just chased him. Um, and I'm using an ACR. I know this is kind of a weird map to use an ACR because it's so it's such a close quarters map. Um, but I'm using ACR just because I feel more I feel more comfortable using that. I feel more comfortable posting up. Uh, and the team we're playing is, just, um, you know, the way they play pretty much is their team name, Reckless. They play re Reckless. They just, they just rush around. Uh, they run around everywhere uh, like they have no care in the world. Um, and w Which isn't bad. It isn't bad to play this. I think I made comments on this in my live stream. Uh, and people were like, because um, I like, while I was live streaming, I was saying, these guys are playing dumb. These guys are playing really dumb. It, and it is dumb. I, th I think it's dumb to play random uh, because you're not you're not going to win most of the time. It, if you play random, if you, whether you win or not, it's going to be random. Uh, and I think I made a comment that these guys, they, they remake a lot. Uh, like, they're one and one right now. Or they're one and one when we're playing them in this match. Um, and if you guys know Reckless, these dudes grind out GB, so there's no way they're one and one uh, And they actually remake teams all the time. That's why I say, like, they probably pick up a lot of losses because they the way they play. Uh, and then Nate right there actually hits the guy on the boxes. Uh, the little box head glitch people stand up in the middle alley. 
Uh, and you guys saw me pick off next in the beginning. Uh, we won that round pretty early, pretty quick. Uh, and what me and Dito like to do on this side, you guys will see it later, um, is we like to take control of up top, and then Fearless and Striker were actually trying to push up B Street. Uh, me and Dito were just trying to hold up top control, make sure they don't flank around, uh, and try to get a little bit uh, of map control on them. Uh, and it, it also helps me throw that nade to hit them on the back box head glitch. Uh, so over here I'm going to try this right side again because uh, I hit the guy with the nade over there. But next actually rushes up and uh, pushes up to this little green thing and shoots me through. I wonder if I would have had impact on if I would have killed him. I don't like, I don't really, like really using impact uh, at all. Uh, sometimes I'll use it, but really I just like running focus. My teammates, if you notice right now, my teammates using impact. Uh, and if you notice them throughout the whole game, they're using impact. But... Uh, I like focus because it kills me, like, and, and it's like, you know, you'll notice it, uh, because when you have focus on, you, you're trying to shoot people through walls and it's not working, and then if you have impact on, you'll get into a gunfight with someone and you'll be like, man, if I would have had focus, I would have killed that guy, and I think you only notice it for that, for that reason. Uh, so right now, it's going to be 2-2 two -two as Toad picks up the kill on Dito, um, and... We're going to be on the offensive round. I believe this is the round where you see us take control of up top, uh, me and Dito, uh, like we did the other round. And I think, I believe I do hit this nade on the on the box guy finally. Uh, and, and you saw right there, I kind of kind of wanted to go down low. Sometimes you can go down low under the bridge and pre-aim the bottom A door, uh, and you'll kill people running. It's right where I'm looking right there, that A door. You'll, you'll kill people rushing up the stairs. Um, as you see, Stoner gets taken out. And I'm going to throw this nade right here. And the nade actually hits on the box, and I didn't pick up a kill. I got a hit marker, uh, but I killed the guy that killed Dito up top uh, A building. Um, I don't really know when. I think I don't know if it's this team I get that kill on the guy on the box, or if it's another team. I don't know. Uh, it's it, it's probably gonna be another team because this team doesn't seem like the team that would sit back in the box. I don't really remember. Um, and right now, I want to say that it is a. See right there. If I would have had impact, probably would have killed that guy. Um, as he's jumping up trying to fight me and he eats more bullets but right now I believe it is a it's either a 1v1 or 1v2 if the theater didn't suck I would bring up the scoreboard and look but I think it's a one-on-one -on -one, so I'm just gonna go and grab the bomb uh, I know where he's at over here at the uh, platform area and I kind of predicted him to run all the way back through the spawn so that's why I'm doing this uh, to kind of catch him off guard because he saw me run over towards uh, a bomb side, uh, a building side. So maybe he didn't expect me. Maybe he wouldn't expect me to run over here. Uh, and I don't want to go on the street because he could just be posted up on the street. So I'm going to cut through middle, uh, check up in that building, and then stay over here by plat and just play kind of slow. Uh, so I'll run around the MP7 because uh, kind of one-on-one, -on -one, kind of like a, and I'm running around. I don't really want to get caught with an ACR on this map. Uh, with all the cuts and all the corners and all this stuff. Uh, so I'm going to be using MP7, and I'm going to try to make my way over here to B slowly, uh, just through the back of the spawn. You want to make sure you check all your corners. It's the one-on-one. -on -one. This guy's on defense. He's just going to be camping. Um, not really much he has to do except for uh, watch a bomb site, and it's really a 50-50 for him because I have to plant the bomb. Uh, so it's either I'm going to go to A or I'm going to go to B. So as long as he hides, he has a 50-50 chance of winning. Um, and... Fake the bomb, the f fake the bomb plant right there. As you guys saw my other video, you can actually fake the plant, uh, and he actually comes out and tries to kill me and gets turned on, uh, which is unfortunate for him. Um, so that's gonna take us up three two. Faking the bomb plant, that's a big, uh, big thing. You guys need to know. If you guys didn't see my other video, I actually did a video on this where you can hear the bomb plant, uh, and you and I actually show you guys how to fake it. Uh, and right there, you saw I brought the bomb out real quick and put it away. Um, that's one way you can do it, or you can just switch your guns. Um, that's another way. Uh, I recommend bringing the bomb out because if you switch your guns, um, it really it really only works on most people if you have two primaries because you can only switch your gun once. If you switch your guns twice, like if you go to your pistol and then back to your ACR, uh, it's going to make a double noise and people are going to know you're faking the plant. Uh, so right there, Dito actually, or no, Fearless gets a kill, Dito gets a kill, and then Fearless gets taken out. Uh, and right now I'm just kind of playing back, playing defense, and Striker gets a kill, and it's a 3v1 situation. Next is the last guy. Uh, and I know I, every round he's pretty much gone on this right side, so I'm just going to go over here on the right side, pick up the last kill, uh, and we're going to win that map 4-2. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of an S&D Breakdown. I haven't really done C-Town gameplay, and 
Uh, and game bells, I, I didn't really know in game bells they give you C-Town all the time. Uh, and people in the comments usually ask for C-Town. I was like, why? Uh, and now that I know I play game bells, they give you C-Town. So uh, I hope you guys like this video. I'm going to try to do more of these. We're playing game bells a lot now, playing S and Ds. Um, I hope these help you guys out uh, with your S and D gameplay. Uh, and all, as always, leave a like, uh, the little thumbs up button, click it because it helps me. Uh, if you're not subbed, then go ahead and sub. Uh, and sharp, I'm out. Peace.